All right, welcome back everyone. Uh, this is the third video of a short series of videos where I turn this five by eight foot trailer into a little tiny home. Um, so if you haven't seen the first two videos, then you should go check those out on my channel. Um, so in the last video, I completed the whole outside of the trailer. So now I'm gonna start tackling the inside here. And the first step is gonna be wiring up all the electrical system. So the whole system will be pretty simple. I'm just gonna have a few LED lights on the inside and one on the outside. And then I'll also have um, a light switch uh, for the lights. And then I'll also have some USB ports to be able to charge cell phones and other small devices. And then I'll have a 100 amp hour deep cycle battery that'll uh, get charged while the trailer's being driven um, through a bat battery isolator. And yeah, it'll be pretty simple. So here we go. I got all the wiring done up here. Um, it was looking better, but it turns out masking tape doesn't stick to wood very well, so all the wires fell down. But they're all in the right place, so it should be pretty easy to wire everything up now. So my next step will be um, adding some little pieces of wood in the corners to help attach the interior siding, um, where there's not support pieces already. And then, yeah, I'll put up all the wood on the inside. And for that, I'm going to be using some thin sheets. Um, I think it's like 3 8 inch plywood that I have that's beadboard. Um, so I'm going to be putting that over the walls and the sides. And then, yeah, drilling holes through for my wires so I can attach all the lights and everything. Okay, so I got most of the siding on the interior walls and ceiling, and I have the wiring ready for the lights and the, re the rest of the electrical system. Um, but I had to frame out this door here first before I could actually put up that, the siding on that wall. But now that the door is mostly installed and ready, uh, I can finish up the interior siding. The actual door that I used here uh, used to be an old antique door that I got and I had to cut it down to the right size and scraped off like four or five coats of paint so it still needs a little more work but it's getting there and just about ready to be actually installed permanently so yeah now I'm gonna finish up the interior walls and once I finish the siding I'll paint and caulk and trim and then I'll probably start working on the flooring
I got all of the um, walls and roof done now and painted and trimmed out. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with how it looks. So now I'm going to work on wiring up the lights just to get these wires out of the way. And then I'm going to work on the back wall. And for this back wall, it's going to be more of an accent wall. And I'm going to use barn wood to side it. So the walls are all now officially done, um, all except for just these like window sills here. Um, the next step will be working on the floors, and what I got for that is this vinyl flooring here. Um, it's just plastic flooring that's supposed to look like wood. Um, I got it in khaki oak color from Home Depot, so I'm gonna install that now all over the floor. But. Yeah, I'm really happy with how the walls all turned out. I think it looks pretty nice. that I got the flooring all complete I think I'm gonna wrap this video up so if you want to see the next video it'll probably be my fourth and final video for this build um, and in that video I'll finish up the windowsills and all the little finishing touches and I'll tackle the rest of the door um, and I'll also build all the furniture and the items on the interior and thanks for watching and please subscribe if you enjoyed it um, we'll have more videos out soon thank you